Hello everyone, I am Lynn and today I wanted to do a reading on ancient bells that were destroyed. Those big ginormous bells. Why were they taken and why were they destroyed? If you're interested, just hang tight. We're going to explore this a little more. Okay, everybody. So I'll just get right to the question here. Lynn, can you take a look into the history of the lost, stolen, and seized bells? It is quite astonishing. And on my blog itself, I have link after link talking about stories in different countries, how they went around seizing all these bells. And some of them are enormous. And it seems like there's what they put on here. It seems like there's more than just a war effort to using them for resources and make you know, military equipment and so forth. So when I got this and I saw it and I saw some of the pictures, it was a topic, honestly, I had not thought about before, but once it was suggested and put into my periphery, I couldn't, I couldn't help but want to focus on it because I myself wanted to know what's really going on here. Why did they take all these bells? And in earlier posts, I have mentioned that churches were healing centers. They served the purpose of being energy powerhouses, but also had the ability to heal. We've all heard about sound therapy. We use tuning forks. We do all these different things in our current time. But this came from old, old world. That's always a tongue twister for me in which it was a common practice to heal with sound. So people have been doing it for a really long time. And something within us, we still know to be true. And we do it, just do a different variation of it. People, they could gather in, around, even be in the cities and get the benefit of the tones of the church through these big, enormous church bells just gonging. And if you've ever looked at some of the, the old and this, these huge, amazing organs within the churches, I mean, a whole wall could be lined with the pipes off the organ. Or wonder why churches have these enormous bells, or why is there a choir and bells tied to the church? Like, we have all this music and all this stuff tied to churches. I get the reason is because the sound and the tones, they offer healing. Not only were there people looking to their inner God and combining their synergistic efforts and prayer to God, they were healing from the inside out. They, It was just this amazing, beautiful thing that people did. The entire concept of an inner God or, or healing, it was a huge threat to the powers that were. And as society grew and got bigger, the evils, they wanted to destroy what's being built so they started to dismantle the church and the history by taking these symbols of the old world under the guise of war effort and using resources. They were worried that the masses were going to start to get strong and start to awaken their inner senses. Think about what they're doing right now. They're destroying our history. They come up with these concocted, maybe divisive race things. And then the next thing you know, there's looting and destruction and all of that. It's all a guise to destroy what we have now. Destroy statues destroy all these different things we're we're getting too strong and it scared them so now they're doing what they can to disconnect us from our inner god whether it's a beer bug shot whether it's some illness they're fabricating out there toxin in your food your air your water you name it they're doing it to us because they want to disconnect us from our inner god because that is where we become strong so when you think about it you know Look at the Grammys. Look at all this stuff. Rather than, it, it's not only that they're trying to disconnect you from God. They're trying to create this Baphomet society to worship these people. Go look at some of these. Um, I, I was shown a designer show where they were all dressed in these bloody costumes. And they, they called it like designer clothing. Um, look at the Grammys and how they did that. Look at different things at the Super Bowl. They're trying to push it on our generation and the generation below us and trying to get us away from God. If you could do anything and do yourself a favor, turn all this crap off, honestly. Appreciate silent time alone. Walk in nature, practice gratitude, pet an animal. Whatever makes you happy and makes you want to smile, that's what you should be doing because that's what's gonna bring you peace and, and help you connect back to the inner God that they're trying to destroy from you. And that's all I have for this reading. If you have something you'd like to share, please drop a line, comment below, uh, share my work and spread it. It just helps me out so much and I truly appreciate all the support that, that so many of you have given me. And with that, I'm going to go now. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.